Okay, uh, let's look at uh, Torricelli's law. All right, the differential equation for Torricelli's law is uh, dv over dt is equal to k times square root of y. All right, but uh, since uh, you have a v and the t and y, so there are three variables going on. So instead of uh, having a v, we can express v in terms of y. So for example, let's say the tank has a cross-sectional area, so horizontal cross-sectional area is uh, some function of uh, depth y, all right? So a of y, all right? So if you want to express the volume, we can write it as, so this is going to be an integral from zero to say y, so it's from zero to y, then cross-sectional area, dy, because uh, uh, let's see, I cannot use y here because I already use y here. I'm going to use y bar, right? And then with respect to y bar, right? And if you take the derivative of v with respect to t using the fundamental theorem of calculus, we have dv over dt is equal to, right? So you just plug in y, so a of y, then chain rule multiply by dy over dt, right? So therefore, the Torricelli's law can be rewritten as, uh, so this is uh, dv over dt, so you have a, a of y dy over dt is equal to k times square root of y, right? Notice that uh, this is this is a separable equation. Right? So we can use the same technique to find a solution. All right? So let's uh, dive right into a particular example here. All right? So let's say you have a tank and whose uh, um, curve is determined by this equation y equals x to the four thirds. Then use that curve to rotate it about the y-axis to, uh, to form this tank. And it says that um, when time is equal to zero, the depth of the water is 12 feet. And after one hour later, the depth uh, came down to six feet, right? Then question is, when will, uh, will this uh, tank be empty? All right, so let's do that. All right, first, uh, we have to come up with the uh, cross-sectional area. So let's say take a height y, and how would you um, express um, this cross-sectional area? All right, so this is a, a, a volume of rotation. So this is going to be a circular uh, disk, All right? Then if this is y, and uh, length here, I mean the, the radius here, is determined by this equation right here, right? We can rewrite this guy as, uh, so uh, raise both sides to uh, three quarter power. Then you have uh, x equals y to the three quarter power. Right, so this radius is um, y to the three quarter. Right, so uh, since uh, this is just a circular, so area a y can be written as pi r square, and radius is y to the three quarter and you just need to square that, which is going to be pi y to the three halves power. All right, so the, uh, plug this guy into a Torricelli's equation, Torricelli's law. We have, uh, let's see, y, a uh, pi y to the three halves power, dy over dt. which is equal to k times square root of y. All right, 
and this is a separable equation so let's try to uh, let's simplify by I'm going to divide through by pi and a square root of y all right that way pi is gone and a y to the 3 halves divided by square root of y would be just y then you have dy over dt and a k divided by pi and the square root of y is gone all right then we can just take the integral with respect to t. So you have an integral with respect to t, integral with respect to t. Then you can cancel uh, dt here, dt here. So antiderivative is actually quite simple. So y squared over 2 is equal to uh, k over pi t plus some constant c1 All right and we can just uh, multiply both sides by 2 so that I don't have to worry about that uh, multiply uh, both sides by 2 then you will get the y squared is equal to um, 2k over pi plus uh, c1 over 2. Oh, sorry, t is there. All right, but uh, there's no point of having these uh, complicated constant. Uh, we can just call this constant, for example, um, capital K, and uh, c1 over 2, for example, c. All right, so all we know is that the right-hand side is going to be a linear function, so k, t, plus some constant c. All right, let's find the value of k and c. All right, so let's look at that when t equals zero, All right, time t equals zero. So y is going to be 12, so 12 squared would be 144, which is equal to, right, t is zero, so it's going to be c, All right? So we already found the value of c, All right? Then we try uh, t equals one, right then y becomes 6 so 6 times 6 is 36 is equal to right y is 1 so it's k uh, plus c is 144 right which means that uh, subtract 144 from both sides uh, k is going to be 36 minus 144 so it's a negative 108 right so therefore, we have this equation, y squared uh, is equal to, k came out to be negative 108, t, and a plus c, c is 144, right? So we want to know when uh, this tank will be empty, so the height uh, depth is going to be zero. So depth is y, so we just have to set this equal to zero, right? Then you see that uh, t is going to be, uh, so for t, so it's a 144 over 108, which will, uh, you can uh, simplify it as uh, this is actually four thirds. Right, so which means that um, that this is going to be one uh, three uh, four thirds uh, hour later, which is going to be the same thing as one hour and uh, twenty minutes. All right, so after one hour and uh, twenty minutes, uh, this tank will be empty. All right. That's it. I hope that uh, this was clear.